Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a really fun video sharing some of the new products from Erin Condren. First things first, I wanna say thank you to the Erin Condren team for allowing me to pick out some of their new products and share them on my channel. So without further ado, let's get into this. Actually, no. Let's zoom in on my hand really quick because I want to show you guys something which has like totally nothing to do with this video. So this is the first video, like hand video that I have filmed since I got my new tattoo. So I know people are going to be like, that's a cat and it clearly kind of looks like a cat, but this is for Doyle. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because you're gonna like see my hands moving and be like, what is that? What is that mark on your hand? That's what it is. It's just on the inside. So you can't, you can kind of see it, but you kind of can't. So anyway, moving forward, this is what it is. And um, I shared it in a recent vlog if you guys wanna check that out, but anyway. Okay, let's get into the Erin Condren products. First things first, I wanted to share these folios. Sorry I keep zooming in and out, guys, but I can't like get my zoom right today. So these come in a really nice kind of linen-y white bag with the asterisks on them. And to be honest, I haven't even opened them yet. So, yay. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, this is like a really pretty like champagne and I'm hoping this comes off on camera, which it looks looking like it is, um, but it's kind of like just an embossed asterisk right here. And this is the on the go folio. And it has three little, I think these are called, I don't know, jump bands or bands. I'm not like really into the folio world. So forgive me if I'm saying things that are like not proper or correct because I just don't know. So anyways, they have two different colors currently. So they have this like gold champagne. And then I also got this other one. Let's see what this one looks like. And I believe this one was called charcoal or gray i cannot remember but this is more of a matte finish still has that asterisk right there has the matching bands um but this one has a little bit more of a sheen on it it's you might be able to tell i i can kind of tell um just from the camera viewfinder here but this has a little bit of a sheen on it where this one to me is completely matte this is like a faux leather and i was gonna say faux fur for a second sorry <laughs> it's a faux leather um and it's like very like pliable like they're very um i don't know movable if you will and it's got a little bit of hardware on the side there um and all the hardware it looks like they're both silver so Anyway, I got these and I'm kind of excited to check this out. These seem like a really, really good size. Just for a size comparison, I have my like regular planner out here right now. So for a size comparison, it's way smaller than the regular 7x9 Erin Condren Life Planner and not as thick. Well, I guess you could thicken this up with your with the guts of this if you wanted to, but um, you know, Back in the day, I did take my planner, not everywhere, but a lot of places with me, and it's just so dang heavy, and the coil is like my problem on a day-to-day -day basis, so I kind of like that they came out with those fo these folios, um, just to appease some people that just really aren't into a full life planner, which is totally fine. So anyway, wanted to show you these. Let's move these over to the side and then we'll get into some of the other items. So I also got this monthly planner calendar. Um, and so it has a colorful layout and it is the 2019 monthly calendar. I can't talk today. I don't know why I'm filming a video right now, but you know, we're just going with it. And I haven't looked inside of these yet. I have seen some of the sneak peeks that are out there. Um, but yeah, so this says, dream it, believe it, achieve it. And let's see, let's kind of walk through this together. So it's the Petite Planner Monthly and has all of the little months for 2019. And then we're right into January. Oh, look how cute those are. They're like so tiny. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I like this. Um, it's feels like the same paper that's in the life planners. So it's just every single month. This would actually be perfect for like kids that have tons of sports and recitals and lots of things like that or tracking doctor's appointments or 
work stuff or whatever, just like your monthly glance, that's probably what I think I'm gonna use this for. And this even just on its own would be so much easier to just throw in your purse or your bag on a day-to-day -day basis. I know recently I've been scheduling lots of different like doctor's appointments and things like that and just making sure that it doesn't conflict with any like work things or whatever. And that's been kind of difficult to track since I have my own life planner at home and I'm usually making these appointments during the day. That's all that's in there. And then are these all just lined pages? Oh. Sweet, so these are all just lined pages. Okay, cool. Uh, but it's like over half of them are the lined pages. Oh, this is weird. Okay, whatever. And at the very back, as we all know and love, we get some really fun stickers, so I'm excited about that. And speaking of stickers, we should just talk about this now. Um, I did get some extra sticker packs for the petite planner. The reason I got extras is because I wanted to, in this this one right here, I wanted to track paydays and things like that and sometimes you get paid three times a month and sometimes you get paid two times a month. Um, and you know, it's just nice to have extra, just extra stickers because you know, clearly it's needed. And I totally forgot that they give you sticker packs at the very end. And these are all the matte stickers and they all have gold foil on them, which gold is one of my favorite things. You could just very easily put this in here. You always just wanna find like the middle thing. Mine's kind of messed up, but I think I can just like trim that down a little bit, um, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. But yeah, you just find kind of the middle of it and I don't know, just kind of put it in here, kind of like that. And then this little guy goes over that. So clearly there's only one in here right now, but we're going to, we're going to make it, we're going to make it bigger. All right, and then this one is the goal setting journal. And let's open this up. I watched Jody from Life's Organized Chaos review these just recently, and she was really loving the colors. And the colors are really nice, but um, like she was kind of mildly obsessed with this, <laughs> these, this kind of colorway, which I thought was kind of cool. Oh, and I did get, um, the stickers that go along with this one. I believe that there's gonna be stickers in the back as well, but we will see. So this is like a goal setting situation and it looks like they really want you to focus on like why you have whatever specific goal you have, whether it's related to like family, health, fitness, work stuff, whatever. And to be honest, I didn't really look at this before I purchased it. I just kind of thought that this would be a really interesting thing to take a look at. Um, so it just says like, I want to create more space in my personal life, relationships, career, creative life, business, health, spiritual life, finances, and home. It also has three other like blank categories. So if something's really not fitting your bill right here, you can definitely put them in. But I just thought this would be an interesting thing to just kind of like walk through. Oh wow. You got to like give your signature. Oh my gosh. It's like, this is legit guys. But yeah, I mean, sometimes when you just write down a goal to take those tangible steps to make it come to life is sometimes a little bit more difficult. So I can see why this would be like really important for some people to deal with. Um, okay. So then you have a vision board for your goal and it says strive for progress over perfection. Ain't that the truth? All right. So then you break down your goal steps towards the goal, the small steps. Very cool. And then just check in. So like you could probably check in like once a week or every day or, you know, just depending on what type of a goal it is. I like this, that stop wishing and start doing. I need that more in my life. So there's a lot of goal check-in pages and then more of the breaking down the goal. So it looks like you could have like several different goals in here um, that, you know, could work for you, or you could just have one big goal and then just keep using the pages, just kind of depending on, you know, what it is. Oh, wow, cool. All right, and then there is like a little piece of paper. Oh, these are tips on how to goal set. All right, cool. Oh, and then these, these are um, those stickers that were in here that I put in my cart separately because I thought, hey, this is kind of cool. And don't we all need some encouragement sometimes? Cause I know I do. So this is another petite planner that would go in the new folios. If you wanted them to, you don't have to put anything in the folios that you don't want to. I also got one of these and this is the Ode, one of the Ode Joy prints. 
and this is one of the Jot Your Thought journals. And I just thought that it would be nice to have just a piece of paper, like just not a piece of paper, like a journal with just paper in it. So I didn't have to feel like I was taking up pages in the monthly or anything like that. So this is the inside and it's just lined. I know that there are other ones that are coming out, I want to say, because I did look at some of the sneak peeks from some of the other people that were given some sneak peek things that had different covers and things like that, but I did not get any of those because at the time that I ordered, they were not available online. So we can put this in here as well. I can kind of put this in here. Here we go. Kind of just find the center and plop this one in too. That's a weird word, plop. That's weird, okay, anyways. And then lastly for the journals, I got the 2019 daily planners and I got the set of four. There was a little bit of discount if you got the full set versus buying them individually. So I decided to go for the full set. All right, so I'm just gonna open up the first one, but these are what they look like. So this one is October through December, July through September, April and June, and then January and March. So this would be the first one that I would dip into in 2019. But you know, they're all gonna be the same. So this is kind of like more of a corally pink color with some foiling on there that matches. So let's take a peek and see. All right, let's, let's open up this bad boy again. So in the monthly planner, I just wanna like look for size comparison if it's like the same or what, yeah. So this is the monthly one that's already in my folio. They're exactly the same um, on the month side at least. So you do get a monthly page, which is nice if you want that. And then it breaks down your days and then it coincides with the color theme of that specific month. And at this point, I don't believe that they have any neutrals. So if you guys are looking for neutral, I don't believe that these come in a neutral yet. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, I'm not sure. Um, but they all come in the colorful colorway. So we've got January 2nd, so that's like a Wednesday. And then you've got a full spread of January right here, which I don't know, to me, kind of doesn't make any sense. I mean, kind of, but... Like when I can just flip back to this, I don't know. I mean, it seems maybe a little redundant to have both. I don't know, just like my own personal opinion. And then having a full page of breaking down whatever you wanna do, maybe just like a list of to-dos or maybe your grocery list or something like that. So they've got a full page of that. And then Saturday and Sunday are only half pages, which, okay, here's a criticism because I, I'm a person that works a normal, like, kind of more nine to five-ish job. I mean, I set my own hours, but I work Monday through Friday. And Saturday and Sunday is really when I get the bulk of my things, like tasks done. So in my mind, it would actually make more sense to have a full page on Saturday and Sunday and not like Monday through Friday. Because most people, I mean, I don't know, I'm just generalizing with my own experience. But most people work Monday through Friday or they have a flexing schedule where say they work Mondays and then have Tuesdays off and then work Wednesday through Saturday and then have Sunday off or, you know, people have different types of schedules. So yeah, but definitely Saturday and Sunday, I would have like really loved a full day to kind of break down like, this is what I wanna achieve in the morning, the afternoon and the evening and kind of like my running to-do list of the weekend. Like this could be my Saturday and then my Sunday could be on this side and just, you know, like, or like basically like Saturday and Sunday, and then just kind of have those two like flex together. Like, hey, I have to like do laundry and I gotta go grocery shopping and I gotta like wrap a present for a birthday party and I've gotta do all these other things and upload videos and edit and film and do all the things that I have to do. But a lot of times, you know, like on, fr like on Friday, I would probably get home from work and maybe do a little bit of laundry and edit. Like, so, 
this would be kind of like pretty sparse for me, but that's just my own opinion. I mean, clearly I am a person that has no children and no spouse and the majority of the people that watch my videos that are female, well, maybe males too, I'm not sure, but most have children and have spouses. So I can imagine that your Saturdays and Sundays are pretty jam packed as well. But you know, again, my own opinion. Um, okay. So it's got Monday through Friday on full pages and then Saturdays and Sundays on one page combined. And then, so it's got every day and then you get into February and then February one, then it goes into this. So very cool. Let me, I just want to go all the way to the back and see if there's like any additional, like, I don't know, sometimes they put notes pages or something like that back there, but I'm not sure if they do that on these. So let's, let's take a little peek here. Okay. It looks like there's one, two, just two line note pages, which is just fine. And then also it has some of these great stickers, which is kind of nice, but these are now in the silver foil. So it has like the happy birthday celebrate to do reminder, just some plain stickers, and then also just some icons, which is pretty fab. So yeah, those are all of these. I can just kind of open these and just flip through them real quick. I just don't want this video to be like epically long, but I feel like anytime there's like a new launch, it's always really long. So anyway, this is the April through June. So I'm just going to flip through it because it's going to be basically the same as the other ones, just in different colors. So the format is not changing at all. And then also you have the um, stickers in the back and then we have the yellow one which starts in July. If you guys want to know the exact size of these, they are 5.7 inches this way. And then this long way, it's 8.25 inches. So if you're trying to make this work with say a different folio or something else you have, um, or you just want to know if you could fit it in your handbag or your work bag or something like that, um, that's what size they are. But I'll leave a link below to everything. So anyway, so this is the July through September. So again, just still goes with the color vibes and colorways of those specific months for Erin Condren. So yeah, very cool. And then again, got those stickers. And then this is the very tail end of 2019. I kind of wish they would have made one um, just for the rest of this year for people to kind of like test out to see um, if they'd be into it. I'm like, clearly you can, you know, make it your own too and just change the dates on some of them if you really wanted to. But um, I kind of wish they did one for the last quarter of 2018. Um, so anyway, so here's an October through December in the proper colors Dun, da, da, da. and the stickers, which are, you know, the, f the fun parts of it all. So those are all of these. All right. And I did get a couple of other things that aren't like super new, but I still want to share them anyway, because you know, why not? So I got this, this is the plan for tomorrow, celebrate today, 2019 Erin Condren calendar. I was a huge fan of the wall calendar that had the little spiral at the top. They haven't had that in about a year or so. And I don't believe that they're bringing it back. I'm not really sure, but, um, anyway, this is going to have to kind of do <laughs> for me. Sorry, this is like so difficult to see, but um, at the very top, it just has like a little quote. And then underneath this, it has the month at a glance right here. Also on the very bottom, there is like a little pocket, which I think is kind of interesting. And so you can put like wedding invitations or like anything that you, you know, like little placards or I don't know, like I get postcards all the time for like donations. You could like shove that in there. And then also it has like the previous month and the month that's upcoming as well right here. Um, also, so it has like all of these quotes and things like that. Oh, maybe I should like show you February as well. They didn't skip February. I just skipped. So, and then at the very back, so I can kind of just like walk through these real quick. I mean, it's, it's a wall calendar guys. It's a wall calendar. Um, but at the very back it has 2020, which I think is awesome. And then it has important information right here. And look at this huge sheet of stickers. Like, look at that. That's insanity. I love it. I love it. Okay. 
But then also in the back, which I think is awesome, because I remember when I was growing up, my parents always had a wall calendar and had like 911 information and poison control and all of that stuff. So um, like we always knew what our address was. Like this was before we like could memorize it, I guess. Um, and then phone numbers, like the phone number to my mom's work and my dad's work, and then contacts and emergency. And then also like, your um, your city or your township's information of where to go and things like that. So yeah, and then it's got like the little pocket right here. Sorry it's so hard to see guys. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that this was really a nice little feature. And I also picked up two packs of these. These are the 2019 mini calendar sticker packs. I'm gonna be using these in my office for a different wall calendar that I got to utilize in my office, um, but I forgot to grab them at the time that I hit the checkout button. So if you guys are interested in watching that video, I might have, I think it's called my work essentials. I will link it up in a card wherever the heck the cards go in the corner if y'all want to watch that. So the calendar I got for that, I'm gonna be using those little stickers for. All right, so those are all of the things that I have to share with you guys today. So this is going to be my new on-the-go folio from Erin Condren. So I have decided that I definitely like this color. I love the sheen on it, it's kind of amazing. And I like the little bungee as well. Right now, currently, I just have the three planners in there. So I have the 2019 monthly plan, Planner, and then I have got the just regular Oh Joy one with the lines. And then I have the goal setting one in here as well. And possibly as 2019 approaches, I might decide to put the, these in there as well. I'm just not 100% sure just yet. But I think these are so nice and compact and you could, you know, put more in there. Uh, it really goes for four, but I know that you're able to sometimes put more things in there. I mean, I'm not exactly how that works because I'm like not a folio person, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, I just like how compact it is and I know it's gonna fit like really nicely in my purse. Um, also, you can customize these on their website and have your initials. I think you get up to two or three like line or not, not, not lines, but like characters or whatever. So I decided not to do that because y'all know me. I don't, I'm not like a big personalization fan in the first place. So um, that made sense for me not to do that. So anyway, but this is gonna be mine that I am going to hopefully be taking with me all the time now. And it's like not very heavy. Like it's not gonna add like a ton of weight to my handbag. So since I haven't done a giveaway in a long time, let's do a giveaway today. Um, I am going to be giving away this this planner folio, it doesn't have any customization on it. It is gonna be the gray one. And I also got a second pack of the 2019 daily planners for one of you guys. So this whole little bundle is what one of you will win. All of the information for the giveaway will be down below. I'll actually just have a link to my Facebook and I will give everything away on my Facebook page. Just a couple of rules. You will have to be over the age of 18 to enter. You will also have to have a US mailing address. You'll have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel as well as follow me on my Facebook page. And like I said, those links are gonna be down below. But one of you will win all of this and all of the regular posting rules and when it ends and all of that, I haven't decided as of filming this. So I will put that on my Facebook page, which again will be linked down below if y'all are interested. And even if you don't want this for yourself, this would be like a really great gift for the holidays because they're coming up sooner than we think, y'all. So anyway, that is going to be it. Again, thank you to the Erin Condren team for allowing me to pick out a couple of fun things to share with you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. I will leave the Erin Condren links down below as well. If you've never purchased from Erin Condren, there is a link especially for you to create an online profile when you do that. Erin Condren is going to send you a couple of different emails and one of them will actually be a unique code for $10 off of your first purchase. So when you decide to use that code, you will get $10 off of your first purchase. And then when your item ships, then I in turn get $10 towards 
my next purchase through Erin Condren, which also helps allow me to do giveaways and things like that as well. So thank you to everybody that's used them, as well as thank you to everyone that uses my other clickable link down below. It clearly says affiliate link, so if you check out using that link, I get a small percentage of your sale, but your item prices do not go up because you hit that link. It just lets the Erin Condren team know that I'm the one that sent you to their website, and that's how affiliate links work. So anyway, I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to enter the giveaway on Facebook. Again, the links are down below. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.